Closer to home, Wright State stepping out of conference for a matchup against Evansville, part of this weekend's Bracket Busters event. The only other time these two teams had met was back in 1976, a Division II tournament game. Billy Donlin's team still without the services of Cole Darling and Reggie Arsenal. Evansville opening the game on a 17 three run. The Raiders went eight minutes before their first field goal. This acrobatic putback by Jaron Young did the trick. Young will make it a 10 point ball game when he buries this jumper from the corner. Wright State stepping up the defense trying to catch up. Miles Dixon makes the steal. Dixon taking it the distance. He'll miss the layup but JT Yoho with the putback. The Raiders shoot just 35 percent in this game. Here Kendall Griffin finds the range with this three ball. Moments later, Griffin will try the baseline jumper again. This time he misses, but the pride of CJ Matt Vest delivers the putback slam. The Raiders, though, found themselves down 11 at the break. In the second half, Kendall Griffin going to dial up another long range triple. The Raiders never led in this ball game. Pushing the tempo, Matt Vest is going to serve it up for Jaron Young, who throws down two of his 11 on the day. Wright State, they just couldn't climb out of that hole. On the rebound, the Raiders will finish the break. Matt Vest giving it off to Kendall Griffin. Griffin finishes with 10. Evansville 70, Wright State 58. The bright spot for the Raiders, freshman JT Yoho with a double-double, 20 points, 11 rebounds.